Hi to all, how is it going? Welcome to this new episode of uh, Free Cat Shorts. So, different softwares, uh, different uh, user habits, and one of these habits uh, is uh, using one single sketch to express some design intent. In this uh, tutorial, I will show you how you can use uh, FreeCAD Link Stage 3 to extrude to different heights uh, using one single sketch. So, first you need to switch to Part Design. We will create a new body and a new sketch on the XY plane. Hit OK and let's start sketching. Just draw a rectangle, select the two outer vertices and the center one, press S on your keyboard for symmetric. We'll, we'll make these two edges equal by pressing E on the keyboard. I will create a center slot. And by selecting the two arc centers and the y-axis I will make it symmetric to the sketch y-axis so press S on your keyboard for a symmetry constraint I will create an outer wall for my slot so let's create another slot I need these two arcs to be concentric so I will select their uh, centers and I will I will press C for a coincident constraint I'm not dimensioning uh, anything, only for the speed of it, so let's go ahead and create three circles. The first one will be tangent to the y-axis of the sketch. I will create other two. Select the three circles and make them equal by pressing E on your keyboard. Select these two centers of our circle and the center of the cent center circle. This is a mouthful. Press S on your keyboard for symmetry. Select this vertex and this vertex and press H on your keyboard for a horizontal constraint. It is not yet possible to select closed uh, areas in FreeCAD, so you need to bear in mind that there are still some limitations. Every area that you need to extrude or pad, you need to outline it uh, completely. Select the polyline tool and let's outline a wall here in FreeCAD link stage 3 there are basically two ways of padding the sketch to different heights one is using uh, the sketch export utility and the another one is using the the automatic uh, subshape binder creation I will first uh, show you the sketch export method. So let's select the outline of our object and using this tool here we will export a sub sketch. If we close our sketch the visibility of our exports can be toggled independently. Reopen the main sketch. Select the three circles and create another export. We will select the geometry of the slot and create an export. I will leave behind this area here of the sketch because when there is uh, overlapping geometry the sketch export uh, sometimes fails. But uh, bear in mind that uh, if you need for example to select the geometry underneath this line here you can always use the GG shortcut or the pick geometry tool. So GG shortcut you will be presented with a pie menu with selectable geometry and if we click uh, the edge button you can see that we can highlight overlapping geometry and we can uh, select it. So we will leave this area behind and we will solve it uh, using the second method uh, which is the um, automatic uh, subshape binder creation. So let's close our sketch, select our first export, let's make it visible, pad it for 5 millimeters. Hit OK. Our second export are the three circles but we will first extrude the slot so select it pad it 10 millimeters hit ok select the three circles and pad them we can do it to something like 7 millimeters hit ok 
and now I want to pad my back wall and to do that I will use the subshape binder uh, creation method. Let's hide our last pad, unhide the master sketch, hover over the desired geometry, press GG on your keyboard, let's choose the edge 5, then by pressing Ctrl on your keyboard, select the remaining of the desired geometry and omitting the vertices. We have this last edge to be selected, GG on the keyboard, edge, remember to press Ctrl on your keyboard to add to, to the selection, so Ctrl and sketch. We have our selection and we can press pad and automatically create a subshape binder of our uh, selection, so let's pad it to 20 millimeters. Okay. As you can see, we have uh, different height extrusion uh, using one single sketch and we can uh, take this uh, one step further. Let's hide our last pad, select the outer geometry of our slot, pad. I want to reverse the direction and I can pad it for 5 millimeters. OK. I will select the export of our circles, I will pad it reversed for 20 millimeters. OK. Let's now select the top faces of our circles. I will create a pocket and I will give it a fit tolerance of uh, minus 1 millimeter. I want to be through all. Hit OK. And just like that, we have managed to create a complex shape using just one master sketch. Thank you all for staying till the end, I'll see you in the next one.